Want to vacuum seal burgers to make them last longer? Well, today I'm gonna to share with you how to vacuum seal hamburgers and lamb burgers and any sort of burgers that you wanna vacuum seal so you can cook them sous vide style or just save them in the freezer for a long time. So I'm gonna take you through a couple of examples. The first one I'm gonna show you is how to vacuum seal one burger. So how to vacuum seal a single hamburger so you can freeze it for later. And then the second tutorial that I'm gonna show you is how to vacuum seal two or more burgers. And I definitely have some pointers ahead. Oh, by the way, hey, it's Jenna here from Sit, Bite, Go. And I'm also a sous vide cookbook author and I did a ton of extensive testing for sous vide burger meal prep ideas when I was writing the Home Chef sous vide cookbook. So I'm gonna show you a couple of things that I found out and I'm gonna show you one big mistake I've made that I don't want you to make when you're vacuum sealing burgers. So let's get right to it. And don't forget, if you like any of the burger videos that you see here, you can find them on the Sip Bite Go channel on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe to Sip Bite Go for more delicious sous vide cooking meal prep ideas. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is how to vacuum seal two burgers or how to vacuum seal more than one burger at a time. You could use this as a guide to vacuum seal two, four, six burgers, however many you can fit in your vacuum sealer bag. So the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna take out all of your equipment, the vacuum sealer, the vacuum sealer bag, and your beef patties that are already formed. If you need any tips on how to make beef patties for sous vide cooking, go ahead and look up those videos at the Sip Bite Go YouTube channel. So anyways, I just wanna point out here something that I'm doing which is really separating the burgers. Now, you're gonna see why it doesn't matter in, the, in a minute and I really wanted to show you this first to point out a mistake that you could easily make when vacuum sealing burgers. I wasn't paying attention on this day. I'm a busy parent and I'm trying to do some good cooking and put together these little videos and I totally forgot with all of that going on to freeze the burger patties first. So what happened is, the burger patties were just formed and they were shaped into discs and you can see that they got completely smushed by the vacuum sealer. Now there are a couple of ways around this. One way around this was that I could have just stopped the vacuum sealer when the patties were vacuum sealed and before they got completely squished because before they were really separated out nicely. The second thing, which is what we do most of the time in my house, is that we'll vacuum seal frozen burger patties um, and vacuum sealing frozen burgers means that they're already going to be in the perfect disc shape so that when they come out of the sous vide bath they're going to look like really good looking burgers. So as you can see here these burgers came out in the shape they went in and because they were not frozen first that's why you see they have that vacuum seal package look on the outside. Now I assure you that these sous vide burgers tasted absolutely delicious. They were super juicy. Everything you would expect from a sous vide burger but they were not the most beautiful looking thing. Luckily we like our burgers with a lot of delicious things on top like caramelized onions and all sorts of toppings so we didn't notice it and uh, you can always eat with your eyes shut if it's a problem. That's obviously the worst joke that I could have said ever. But anyways, these were delicious burgers, they just look ugly and now I'm gonna jump into showing you how to vacuum seal one burger a single burger, but I'm gonna show you what it looks like when it's vacuum sealed frozen. Now, this is a lamb burger that I'm going to be showing you, but you could do this for a beef burger as well. So the first thing that you do is you make the burger and you freeze it. And you only have to freeze the burger for about 15 minutes before it's hard enough to be vacuum sealed. So. When you are freezing burgers for vacuum sealing, just make sure you have at least 15 minutes. You really don't need hours and hours. You don't want a completely frozen burger because if you use a frozen burger in the sous vide machine, it's gonna take an extra hour to cook. So just give it a chill, which is gonna firm it up after you've done making the beef patty or the lamb patty like you're seeing in this one. So then you wanna go ahead and make sure that if you're only vacuum sealing one burger that you trim down the size of the bag so it's easier to use. I mean, I guess you don't really have to, but I always make sure the bag is about the size of the food that I'm cooking it in. And then it's time to vacuum seal it. 
This is the Food Saver V4400 vacuum sealer. The Food Saver vacuum sealer seen in this video is the same one that they sent me a few years ago when I was working on a campaign with them. And you can check out some of my other sous vide and how to vacuum seal meat videos so you can check out all different ways that I've been using this food saver but it has really lasted years and has actually lasted longer than my Inova sous vide machine which is not a surprise because I was sous videing everything everything I could get my hands on when I was writing the sous vide cookbook and testing all of the recipes so here we have a beautiful looking patty because the burger was frozen before vacuum sealing and cooking sous vide style well, I'm a huge fan of vacuum sealing things, if you didn't know, and since writing the Home Chef Sous Vide Cookbook, I've been doing a lot more vacuum sealing because I have so many recipes to test. And vacuum sealing meat makes it so easy to cook burgers from frozen sous vide style. Now, one of the biggest mistakes that we made when we were first learning to sous vide burgers was to vacuum seal burgers when they were freshly formed ground patties. So. When you're making your own ground patties or if you're buying refrigerated ground patties, it's a little bit different because the ground patties are gonna be so soft that when the vacuum sealer is going, it's going to really shrink them down and it's gonna make the burgers ugly. And of course your sous vide burgers are gonna taste delicious, but nobody wants ugly burgers. So instead of having that shrink wrap look to the outside, you're going to want to freeze them for about 10, 15 minutes in the freezer so when the vacuum sealer comes on, it doesn't shrink them too much. Um, they're gonna retain that beautiful round disc shape. That's actually something that Chef Hubs came up with and it's really one of the smartest things when it comes to vacuum sealing burgers for sous vide. Now there is one other way to do this, vacuum sealing burgers for sous vide cooking and that would be to use your vacuum sealer but turn it off vacuum sealing right before the patty is about to get shrinked all in there. So you'd want to be monitoring it and you'd have to hit the button at just the right time. But if you want to vacuum seal fresh burger patty meat, if you want to vacuum seal ground beef for burgers without putting it in the freezer because you just don't have the time or just don't feel like it, then you're going to want to monitor that vacuum sealer and don't let it shrink down. Well, I hope that you're thoroughly inspired to make your own sous vide burgers with vacuum sealed beef. It's really easy to vacuum seal all sorts of meats for preserving them in the freezer and for sous vide cooking. I just love how things look in shrink wrap. Don't forget to subscribe to the Sip by Go channel on YouTube and check out sipbyco.com for more delicious sous vide recipes. Well, until next time, I hope you have a wonderful and delicious day. Cheers! <laughs> And now you'll have to find something else that you want to watch. What do you want to cook?